Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, if you've ever had the opportunity to do any form of network setup, well, you'll know what an IP address is, but what's coming after the IP address might be something that, you know, isn't quite that clear. This field is normally called the subnet mask and normally looks something like this. Now, this number clearly isn't an IP address even though it sort of has that sort of format. So what exactly is this? What exactly does it mean? As it turns out, a subnet mask is just a fancy way of specifying a range of IP addresses. You see, when it comes to an IP address, you can take it as four numbers which are actually individual bytes. And then what you can do is you can make reference to, well, the individual bits that make up these numbers. That's precisely what a subnet mask is trying to do. Essentially, in some cases, you can supply an IP address followed by a subnet mask. And what you're trying to say is this set of bits are allowed to vary. For example, in this case, what we mean is that the last eight bits are allowed to vary. In other words, the last byte of the IP address can be anything from 0 to 255. What that means is this is essentially the same as this. We're just specifying a range using slightly more technical language. Of course, we are not restricted to locking down entire bytes. For example, if we want to vary only the last four bits, creating a range of 16 IP addresses, we can do that by generating a subnet mask according to our needs. Converting that to four decimal values, we get 128 in the last byte instead. We can even shift the range. In this context, the value of the last byte in the actual IP address is significant, since we are actually making use of four of its bits. There's actually a slightly different way of expressing subnet mass as well. What you can do is, well, you insert a slash followed by a single number. This number is usually a multiple of 8, say 24, say 16. And again, this is expressing the same idea. You are counting how many bits you don't want to vary. For example, when you say slash 24, what you mean is the first 24 bits here are actually relevant. And in other words, this notation is exactly the same as what we've seen before. When we say slash 24, the last byte is allowed to vary as much as it likes. Similarly, in this notation, we can also allow ranges that cut across a byte, partially using its value. The easiest way to think of this is to imagine this value as a count of the number of locked bits starting from the left. The bigger the number, the less variance there is. So yeah, that's basically what subnet masking is. It looks kind of intimidating at the beginning, but well, it's just a different way of specifying a range. That's all there is for this particular episode. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.